Hello out there. I'm back after a while, but a lot of stuff was going on behind the scenes. So we get a lot of extensions now in the version 2.4 of Bitwig Studios for the API, which gives us a lot of new possibilities. For example, we get full USB support in Bitwig Studio. This means we can directly from Bitwig Studio, we can address all devices who speak USB. For example, we can use this for drawing screens. And in addition to that, for drawing screens, you also need an API to do the graphics, to draw images and these stuff. So this is also coming in Bitwig Studio 2.4. So lots of possibilities with that. And the first thing I implemented is to get rid of in Push2 the Push2 Display specific application. You need to run the display with it. We don't need that anymore. This makes it much nicer to run Push2. You just drop the extension driven by Moss into the extension directory and then that's it. You can just start Bitwig, don't need to run a second application and this also simplifies the installation much more. Just start Bitwig Studio and as you see you're ready to go. I also added some little nice additions to the graphics. For example, if we go on like this here you see we have now view meters. If we turn the panning to the right you see it much better. So there is now view meters on all the tracks and also go to the master bus we have that on a stereo bus on the output too another little addition is we have now icons on all the tracks so you see what your drum tracks are your wave audio tracks and so on and also if you enter to the devices you also get nice little icons uh, for the devices too and another thing is if you get a uh, notification here in the screen before that only the notification was shown now it's much nicer that the notification now appears over the normal background so you don't lose that view and it's only there for some time Another little addition is if we go to the drum track, you can keep the browse button pressed and then select the pad. And then you also get the browser to choose a device for that drum pad or also to can go to your samples and add a sample to that pad. The most changes happened in the session area. So if you now go in the session area, you see, oh, what is going on up here? You get now a description of all the tracks, clips you have in there. And if you name them, you will also see the name. Also, you get the information about the playing state. So you see the green ones are playing. And if you go to the next ones, white are getting ready. And now the green ones are playing. And also you see there are stop buttons and these these clips here are ready to record. You don't have to have it, you can always turn that on and off. So if you press the session button again, you get that information here. You see as before the session and flip mode and here you can activate uh, this clip view. You can also turn it off so then you get the normal view back for the mixer. Let's turn that back on. As you have seen, there's also a new mode here. So you know the session mode and you know the flip mode. Also this view of this clips adjust to the flipping always in relation to your pads down there but there is now also a new mode so the scenes mode if you do that you get only scenes and also the scenes have their color and their name up there and if you then start a scene we don't have any play states for scenes only for clips so they don't show any play state here but you will see the last scene you have selected and can take this as a little indicator that it is playing too and as you have seen there's also a another button here and uh, somehow I overlooked that you can address the markers as well from the API so as soon as I noticed I added that too. Let's go to a project which contains an arrangement and some markers so here up there are several markers as you can see there was a start and and some untitled ones and if you go now go into the marker mode you can see all these markers and if you press the button below it the playback starts from that marker and also in sync with your current tempo and the nice thing about this area in the session is that it's not only for the push 2, but it's also done for the push 1. So let's quickly put my push 1 up here. 
which you should be able to see as well now. Yeah, so the push one, if you go here to the session, you will see exactly the same thing without the nice graphics, but you get the idea. So we're in a session mode here as well. You see all your scene names and you can also show the clips or hide the clips to get the normal mixing view. And you can also go to the markers and say, I want to start that marker. I want to start here from the verse. So maybe let's go back to the other project, which has some clips in it. So in that one, you can see much better that we want to have some clips here. So there are actually some, some meaningful scenes in there. And if you go up there, you can also see the full session. And here I also try to give some indications for recording stage, for stop stage, and that it's playable. And if it starts, it will then change when it's running. You see it's getting ready and now it's playing. So also here with the push one, you get an indication about the actual state of the clip and what I forgot with the push 2 it's getting a little bit cramped and small with 8 so we have the option to change that to a few where you see only four ones with the push 1 you always have to do that so to see the lower ones you get to here so you see now these scenes and if you go here a uh, clip sorry and uh, if you press that button you can go up here let's check that out again on the push two, so if we are here on the push two, let's go here. You have here also the option up here to say, okay, I want to see only the upper part or only the lower part, and then it's a little bit bigger and easier to read. Makes also sense with the scenes, especially with the scenes, it's then pretty helpful. So that's it for the new version, which is compatible with the upcoming or maybe in the meantime, when I will release this video, release 2.4 of Bitwig and have some fun and make some funky music.